is it heartwarming for even just a brief period of time to be with your surrounded by family yeah you know for uh, that's why I say that it's like in the movie because you you switch off and uh, it's it's look like we are have like something like our vacation it's and then we're like uh, having fun together but then slash and we all understand that all these things happen to us and we all understand that uh, I need to go to to come back to U Ukraine they need to stay here they don't have any understanding what will be next what will be with them and with me of course because they don't even know how how it's uh, mm -hmm. because the bombs arrived like 30 meters from our home because we living close to to a small airport and uh, this is the like a target for them are you afraid for your own safety most days uh you know not at all because uh, when you living in this each day uh, it's just normal for you so it's look like okay uh, it could happen anywhere I mean it's no safe place in Ukraine so uh, a lot of people trying to hide hide from the bombs in Lviv uh, but when I was in Lviv for a couple of days because of my uh, charity work with uh, these cars the bombs arrived like two kilometers of the house I spend the night so I mean like okay it could happen anywhere this time I trying to to get here I was dr driving through the Khmelnytsky I was in Khmelnytsky city and the day I left it the three bombs arrived to the city so th it's like city where nothing happens mm -hmm. it's not about war at all but they bomb it it's mean like I think you can you could not uh, hide from the death but still uh, I'm worried just about my family and about the future of Ukraine it's true well you're very courageous uh, thank you so much mm. thank you thank you best of luck with everything thank you